Okay, so hi there, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your May 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Christy, from In the Stars by Christy.com. So, anyway, before we get into the reading, let me just first apologize for each and every one of you um, for the delay of the upload of my reading this May 2021. I've been really so busy, guys and doing a lot of readings for clients and astrological readings and i do have my own shop to attend to and we are at the middle of a retrograde so it was harder for me to manage my time more than usual for the free readings that i'm having here but needless to say um it's always better late than never so yeah i'll try to make it up to you again next month but anyways, um, just a disclaimer, guys, please do know that this is a general reading, so it may or may not stream into each and every Sagittarius people out there. So just keep this in mind as we go along. So for this month, we're like taking a look on the center card of the reading. And then overall, we get to hear some form of messages for our shamanic oracle deck to tell us what is the main message that we might need to know and what we might encounter for the month of may 2020 anyways uh let's get down to the reading and you're starting off with your center card with the nine of cups so this is actually pretty much a good card positive card and this is the energy of some form of wish fulfillment and you know finally there could be something in your life is finally being on track and maybe you know this is like a, a signal as if you know your greater greatest wish is finally getting fulfilled and speaking of sagittarius we do have a lunar eclipse happening like um uh i guess next week or so uh in the sign of sagittarius so um i know a lot of people are quite afraid of eclipses but um if you are connecting with this reading there could just be some form of um blessing in disguise that might be happening for you and personally as an astrologer i really do not see the this lunar eclipse in a very negative sense but we'll, we'll get into that <laughs> on another video but anyways um yeah like i said uh, this month can be a really really happy time for you there's a lot of things that could be happening a lot of forward momentum and maybe th there could be an energy here we're in you know maybe you are engaging with a lot of people uh, it's all about being a team player and working things out we do have the three of pentacles over here so this gives me an energy we're in it's easy for you to to negotiate and talk to people you know and there could be surprises that has been happening in your life and it's aiding you in in the right path and in having in the right mindset into things as well so in, in terms of a relationship this could be an element wherein you are mingling with a lot of people if you are single and dating and this could be a time where and you are able to talk to a lot of people and you know it's, it's just really pure fun times and very enjoyable and all about pleasure all at the same time and if you are in a relationship this can also be a very beneficial time where and you know you are just having some form of um fulfilling quality time with your partner and really talking things out and learning more from each other all at the same time so this is really more of a feel-good moment i would say in the moment we're in you know um it makes you feel that life is just so wonderful that form of energy you know there's a lot of feeling energy that is happening for you this time sagittarius you're starting off with the page of pentacles this is all about news and you know maybe there you know there could be a situation here we're in some form of talk uh i'm not sure if it's a serious talk or anything like that but there could be some form of conversations here that used to be something quite impossible to do you know maybe there are issues that have been not talked about in the relationship and this is something that you are going to find answers on th this month of may basically 
uh, some form of emotional fulfillment could come into the service of that. We have here the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles all at the same time. It makes me feel that this is really more of a situation wherein you guys might be talking about things that you were not really open to talk about in the past. So there could be an opening up, you know, emotionally opening up to a certain person or maybe finally you're able to express what it is that you really feel. And finally, there is some form of understanding that is happening between the two of you. Maybe there has been some form of unfairness as well. We do have the Seven of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Six of Pentacles over here. So maybe there were things that were left unsaid in the past. And now some form of, you know, maybe you guys have a, some form of drinks. And this could be a time where in... Um, it, you were you guys were able to clear out some form of misunderstandings there's also a possibility that you know maybe because of this emotional vibe that we end up saying things that we really don't really mean to or you know it's like overstating quite a few things or understating you know uh, i just kind of feel that there's also a possibility here that some form of uh misunderstanding can come about in the relationship situation and this could be a time wherein you know you will be able to clear out some form of misunderstandings that might be coming up you know when when we have the six of pentacles here it makes me feel that there is something that was an unbalance into a situation you know some form of unfairness or fairness in the relationship the give and take could be uh, at the forefront uh, or theme of the topic into this maybe someone is not giving too much maybe someone is not committing why is it that person not committing you know um, any questions that you have right now is going to be answered and that is going to be the theme for your month of may however this is still going to be a very joyous month for you guys because um whatever situation that might be happening for you and your particular person special person in this relationship this is going to heighten your relationship and there's going to be some form of maturity and growth that comes with it and i just kind of feel that you guys will be understanding each other much more and you know deepen your relationship with that person all at the same time as well we have here the home the sexual energy so maybe there's going to be a lot of fun times um especially again like i said there could be some form of drinks we do have a lot of cups here and we also have here uh ancient wisdom along with a reunion of souls so maybe you know like i said earlier coming in together uh maybe you know uh you guys were not able to talk in the past or there has been some form of off situations wherein you guys did not understand each other we have here the card of joy so now you you are now going to a point wherein there's going to be some form of happenings maybe reconciliations and enjoyment that comes into the surface of things and we also have here the card of divine timing so it makes you feel as if there has been something uh, of a situation that seems like uh, cl very cloudy and suddenly uh, things make sense now you know there's some form of opening up you are understanding the situation now some form of surprise can come about you know and someone that was not very open to express what they truly think and feel is suddenly becoming more open and this gives a lot of understanding and you just you just really see the dynamics you know when we are talking when we are opening up when we we actually tell the other person what it is that we feel you know things are so so easy to manage you know it's easy to understand one another and this is really what you are going to find out and really experience as a whole so uh, and for a lot of you guys this could be an element of wish fulfillment wherein you know finally things are finally happening finally things are you know it makes me feel that a lot of you guys are having this energy wherein uh there's an element wherein there is something that you have been wanting in your love life that is hard to achieve 
in the past, but now you're starting to see how things can actually happen, how things can actually come true. You know, your own wishes can suddenly now come true. And you're actually seeing this with your naked eye and you're seeing how things are actually possible. So I do feel that there's going to be some form of progress, some form of alliances that are going to be building up and uh, things are making things are at the element of becoming much more stronger and an element of compromise will be at the uh, focal situation of your relationship so this is a very happy vibe kind of reading for a lot of Sagittarius people out there of course a lunar eclipse is going to tell us more into that story i kind of feel that a lot of um, sagittarius people are going to be affected by this one way or another but it always doesn't have to be a negative thing again uh i do give my forecast on my instagram account or on my facebook channel uh if you do want to see my astrological um insights and tidbits there you can check the links down below the description of this video to check them out but um either way um for this reading it's all good it's all happy and it makes me not feel not so bad even though that i uploaded this reading very late seeing that how things are actually happening in a very happy and harmonious state with you guys so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me if you do want a more personal readings just like this well, not like this because this is this is a channel reading. If you do want a more personal reading, specifically done for you and much more detailed and you know, uh, with predictive style reading for you and your own situation and how your relationship is gonna go, and if you have any questions that are unanswered and you know you just want to get answers on, you can book a session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy and i shall see you guys again next month bye and i'm really happy for you guys